Hi, this is Shana. Welcome to my channel. Um, last week I didn't post any videos because I've fallen ill with COVID and I'm still recovering, but I hope this week then um, I'll have two new videos done online. Okay, so don't worry. I'm okay. I'm recovering. Only last week was a bit too much, but right. So we have now the weekly update and uh, for that we have here three possibilities to see what energies are surrounding you this week we have pile number one pile number two and pile number three so take your time to choose your pile you can pause the video if you like and i will see you in a couple of moments so if you chose pile number one this is your reading We'll put it here. There you go. So, pile number one, what are the energies surrounding you this week? First of all, we have the nine of bows, which is the nine of wands. It's called here respect. Then we have number 13, the journey, which is usually the death card. But don't be afraid, don't be afraid. Then we have the three of stones, creativity. This is the three of pentacles. Funnily enough, the first thing that um, well, the first words that come to mind when I see these three cards together in, in this context, it's like a rite of passage. The rite of passage can take on many forms. It could be like a, a, a celebration, an event, it could be a birthday, becoming 18, becoming 30, becoming 50 or something like that. Or it's like getting married or having a child. Um, it's like a rite of passage, it's so, um, like getting into womanhood or manhood, you know, like we used to have in uh, earlier um, uh, cultures, right, or forms of culture, things that actually we don't do anymore, which is a bit of a shame. But what I see here is this rite of passage is um, being also something like it's more internalized. Because what I see here is that you have gone through a lot. People who chose pile number one are people that have gone through a lot and are undergoing a very deep inner transformation here with the journey card. So what you're taking this week is this inner journey. But I see it being the end of the journey. It's like you have endured so much. And, um, and actually here with respect is like the spiritual world. Your guides, your higher self, they are showing you their their respect in the sense of uh, they are in awe of you and they have so much respect for your strength they have so much respect for who you are and who you are becoming uh, and it's like the spiritual world your ancestors your guides they are all in all of you even if you don't think you're worthy of it even if you think okay it's nothing special what you've done it's actually a lot. You've undergone so much. And here with the nine of um, wands, it tells us you're not a quitter. You're someone who doesn't give up. You're someone who pushes the borders. You're someone, even if there are setbacks, even if there are challenges, even if you have to take detours that will take a longer time, even years to achieve what you want, you always have your your eyes on the prize. You, you do not relent. You do not forget. You, you do not give up. So you're a very strong personality, pile number one. And here with the journey is really this transformation. It's transcending the difficulties. It's transforming even all these difficulties into something creative, right? And what I see here, even here with the death card, is the, the, die, the death of the ego. Is the... Oh, Oh, this is beautiful. It's a part of you that's dying. And that's why I came up with a with the um, rite of passage. Yes, a part of you is dying, but it's not a physical death. It is a um, personality death. It's like old fears, old behaviors are dying. It's a version of you that's coming to a close. It's a new chapter opening. Interesting enough, this is what I see here. And it's actually helping you to get more in touch with your creativity and even is your creativity helping you get in touch with this new version of yourself or 
helping you through this transition. So for instance, this week, it would be uh, probably easier for you if you write your thoughts or if, if you write poems or little stories or draw pictures or make collages or write a song, whatever is your a creative outlet. This is like a really perfect week to to uh, express all of this transformation, this transition that's um, going on within you, right? And this is not something that probably other people will see or even notice, but it's like you're being changed forever. It's like a, a really new you, a new version of you. It's, it's the end of a cycle. It's really here with the death card. It's like coming to an end of a, a journey and you've been like holding on. You've been like keeping up appearances or you've been also holding on to maybe like old truths or old versions of yourself. But now it's time to strip it away because there's this new you that you'll be showing the world. There's this new you ready to present itself. It's not you don't even have to rediscover it. It's the moment you let go you know, of these old versions of you, you will see the new version has been there for quite some time waiting for the curtain to open. And this is the, the, the death card, you know, opening of that curtain. Oh, this is beautiful. I know it's getting very symbolic here, but it's a new phase. It's a, it's a, this week, this is a deep, deep transformation of the self for you, pile number one. And I see here, at, at, in a more pragmatic way, really having here the, the end of troubles, the end of difficulties, you know, and starting something new, getting in connect, connected to a, a new phase of your life. Even some of you will be presenting some things to the public for the very first time with a wonderful reception, right? And uh, if you thought you are the, Eternal student, the cards are telling you, you are ready to be the teacher. This is the it's a very specific message for some of you that needed to hear this. Now, then we have the oracle cards. We have sleeping, number 14. So you're undergoing this transformation. Some of you with sleeping will be needing a lot of rest this week. Maybe some of you have fallen ill as well. Um, and will be resting or being staying at home. But either way, it is not. It is not. Um, you will, you won't be very physically active this week because you need the rest. You need the sleep. Your soul, your your mind needs this rest. All the cells of your body because it's it's a big transition happening, right? And although it's not very visible for um, for the outside world or to the outside world, it's something that is happening within you, even on a cell level. And uh, so you need this rest. So, we, and I really like this card that really says just sleeping, you know, because it doesn't say dreaming. It doesn't say like, no, it's just you are resting, you are sleeping. And you see this beautiful cat here on his head, <laughs> just sleeping. And that's what you need this week. It's really rest, sleep. It has nothing to do with dreaming, dream work, astral work, whatever, just dream a dream. I sleep, <laughs> sleep and rest, rest your body because there's a lot going on. And then we have this beautiful card here and it's number nine and it says meeting. And I feel here with this meeting, you know, you may be meeting uh, friends or for people that are interesting for you. Um, or even new friends, if you, if you happen to, you know, not to be ill at home and you are walking about, then it's like, uh, probably meet really interesting people, you know, like having a, going for a coffee or like a drink, whatever. But what I see here with meeting, it's like meeting this new you, making acquaintance uh, or getting acquainted with this new you, this new version of you. And, uh, and I'm, I'm taking to this sense. So yeah, you're recovering, you're going through a lot, you know, but it's going to be fine. You know, it's going to be fine. Even if it be um, at the beginning of the week may seem overwhelming, uh, for some of you, but it will be fine. And, uh, you'll just need to rest or surround yourself with people that are really nice and you really like to meet. But I see this as you meeting your new self. You're getting acquainted with your new self. Now, Zachariel, angel of memory. 
this is quite interesting, you know, because it's time to make new memories. This is the message of the card and to let the past go. And this is for me the same message here with the death card again in this context. Let the past go. I'm even getting this really, I, I know I usually don't swear uh, in my readings uh, and I don't have anything against it. I like a good swear, but I, I, with the readings, I never feel inclined to, but I'm getting really the message like, let that shit go. And I don't want to shock you, but I'm getting that, let that shit go. Like really thing is not serving you anymore. And that's what we have here with the nine of wands is a holding on to something, you know, like, uh, I mean, my last, um, strength you know holding on by a thread it's like let the thread go it's time to let go let the past go let the the um, the idea you had of your life the idea you have of yourself go you know because there's something new stronger more creative more beautiful already there wanting to come to the forefront but you're still holding on to those um yeah, outdated ideas of yourself. And here the, with this card is really saying it's time to make new memories. It's time to create a new reality. But for that, you have to let the old ones go. And it's also saying nothing is ever lost. No memory, no past experience is really ever lost. You don't really have to hold on to them. They'll be there, for instance, in your Akashic records, for instance, right? So just nothing is ever lost. So you don't have to hold on to anything. Just let it go. And remember, for some of you, if you are holding on to something, you know, because you're afraid of letting it go, let it go. If it comes back, it's yours. And you never, you could never lose it. If it doesn't come back, it was never yours in the first place. And it's hard to face that reality sometimes, but that can set you free for new experiences and for what is truly yours. So this is getting really deep this reading but it's something like because the transformation you're undergoing is really significant and you're going through a life-changing experience right now it's like a more an awakening yeah that's what i would call it you're going through an awakening pile number one this week you're going to feel it quite strongly so take time to rest and here with the teapot i wouldn't say have lots of liquids you know detox and and have chocolate <laughs> that's my medicine <laughs> sorry so what about love for you pile number one there you have ever unfolding Ooh, have your cake and reaching out interesting so but there's a lot of wishful thinking, so be careful here. Um, I find it really beautiful because it's some. It's also here. Oh, I see. Okay, so with this ever unfolding, I think has to do with this uh, message that we were talking about. It's like even like your idea of love and what you want out of love or out of a partner is changing is changing but there is a, a part of you that's very lustful you know and probably this week you will feel very lustful uh i you know it doesn't matter if you're in a relationship or not you will feel the hormones calling out and although the full moon was last week but now you're feeling its effects <laughs> and um you know and maybe you can have your cake and eat it you know if you have a partner and that's amazing but there will be a reaching out and i think it's uh, for many of you that will chose pile number one is you reaching out to the other person and it could be that someone also reaches out to you but and you feel like oh i'm gonna fall into temptation especially if it's someone from your past let me get here yeah yeah there you go it could be someone from your past because it was someone that was a perfect memory or you're living off a memory and remember what i was saying earlier let that shit go and um and that's why there's a lot of wishful thinking still dreaming of some situations from the past yeah and you should have more fun yeah so those of you who um are um, healthy enough to let go to let go to let go as well but to go out then um 
go out, have fun, have your cake and eat it if you feel inclined to do so. If not, you don't. It's quite easy. Um, but um, but there's a lot of also this um, this impulse of going out and meeting people, okay, of doing stuff with other people, of getting to know new people as well. Yeah, and it's and you're unfolding. You're, you're like blooming, and spring is just around the corner, right? So it's like you are so blooming. You you are stronger now. You are more self confident, and you feel more beautiful. This week again, there's a lot of transformation here, and there may be very very beautiful sexy moments uh, this week for uh, for many of you, if you feel inclined to, of course. And otherwise, if you still feel very, you know, stuck in the past, it's time to let it go. So pile number one, this was your reading. I hope it resonates. I hope it inspires you. And I wish you a wonderful time, a wonderful week full of love. Thank you. So if you chose pile number two, this is your reading. So what are the energies for you this week? Let's put it over here. Okay, file number two. First of all, we have number 15, the guardian. This is the devil card. Then we have the fool, wanderer. Yeah, zero. And then we have the sun, the sun of life. Wow, this is... This is a bit similar to pile number one, but just a little bit. This is also like an awakening. Interesting, that may be the energy for, you know, for all humanity this week. Um, I see. Okay. Okay. There's a decision that is to be made, right? Because if we um, all remember the devil card is another octave of the lover's card. And the lover's card is a card of decision, of course, of love and lovers and so on, but of decision. Because you also have to say yes to love, right? In order to experience it. Now, with the devil card, is maybe like the lower frequencies, the lower vibration of that energy. So it's an octave lower. But it's also a decision if you fall into temptation or not. And temptation can take on many forms. And sometimes even you don't have or you feel disempowered of uh, that decision. Why? Because the devil also stands for patterns, you know, getting stuck in patterns. And it can be because it's the angel. So we've already fallen into those patterns like the fallen angels, right? That then fall into a karmic way of life so and you and this more or less like that karmic way of life but it's in a microcosm and this is the patterns you're falling into patterns and that's why you may feel deprived of the power of choice because some things are like uh, a, a program that is running under the surface and before you know it, you've already taken decisions that are against your own interest, you know, and maybe you just notice it when it's too late. Like, ah, oh, why have I done this? Why did I talk to that person? Why did I call them back? Why did I, did I message them? And so on and so forth. And, and, it's in, and, and this, this programming can be so deep within you that, um, yeah, you, sometimes you're not even conscious of it. Now, here with this um, devil card here, in your case, what I see is really like you're getting conscious, um, conscient of it. You know, it's like you being, there's here for me um, a confrontation. You're being confronted with your own behavior. And this is the guardian, right? So I really find it beautiful that in this deck they call it the guardian because the guardian guards a gate guards an entrance right and could be an entrance to the other side and if we see here is really the entrance to a higher perception to a great joy to a higher vibration but it's like to get there you have to go through the guardian and with the fool the fool is also the card of courage of trust you know of taking the risk 
you know, and, you know, in order to get out of a situation, you have to get through the situation. In order to get out of hell, you have to go through hell. I'm getting reminded of that song. I have a how they're called. It's called the song is called Easy Easy from King Krill. Some I think that's their name. I I don't remember exactly the name of the band, but uh, one of the sentences of the song that I like very much is really because if you're going to uh, through hell, you just keep going. I find that sentence really inspiring and. Um, and I think it's something that you already know because uh, you've been confronting yourself. And I see here with this, the guardian. Um, it's like with the guardian, this guardian is not your enemy. It's like actually like a force or an entity that you sit down with. And it's like, it's like doing deep psychological work or, you know, really facing it, seeing things pragmatically, but also with compassion not judging yourself or judging others too hard, although that may be the first reaction that we have, but it's like being compassionate. And that's the way to go through this, through this guardian, is going through with compassion, with love, with light, seeing the light in all these experiences, seeing the light in all these patterns, seeing the goodness in it, the goodness in the sense what it's trying to teach you. Why did you fall into it? What are you really missing? right? Because now I'm being reminded of that song of Amy Mann um, that uh, is not going to stop until you wise up. And sometimes it's just understanding the reason of the pattern. Why is it there, right? Why was that programmed? Uh, you know, why did you program it even? Uh, uh, more often than not, like an uh, unconscious level. But the moment you understand that, and suddenly everything becomes so clear. So it's like here, this, these cards from me are inviting you this week to face your patterns. And probably there will be situations where you probably have to make decisions and the way you feel about those decisions, the way you react to those decisions will kind of trigger those patterns. They'll bring them to the surface and that will be a, like a wonderful opportunity of really observing them and trying to escape the loop finding the loophole oh perfect it's like that's exact okay this is the nutshell you're finding the loophole this week of your patterns this is what the cards mean you're finding the loophole you're getting the insight you're getting the answer you're getting the key the key word that will get you out of this never-ending or seemingly never-ending patterns and you're ending it you're coming to the light stronger brighter and more wonderful than ever. What a wonderful message. Wow. Then we have number 11, watching. Then we have attitude, desiring intimacy. I'll put it like this. Oh, there you go. So, So for some of you, um, this, this pattern has to do with your love life. For many of you even that are watching this, um, has, to, has to do with your love life. And also that's also the, the arena where this is more likely to repeat in a very intensive way. So there's no wrong or right about it. It's just the way it is. And maybe for some of you, you've been kind of stalking someone, someone you really, really want right? You've just been on the sidelines watching. Now, for some of you, but this is really, only if it really resonates with you, this could be also the invitation to reach out, to go and, you know, and do something about it and take that risk and not just being confined to your fear and just watching from a distance. You know, it's time to go out to, to go out and meet that person, call that person, message that person, if it feels right. Because if this is something that you've been doing the whole time with very to none success, please don't. That's the time of looking somewhere else, you know, and this is the message. You're looking for true intimacy with people that are worthy of your time and appreciate 
who you are. We truly appreciate who you are. And uh, maybe you've been looking for a long time, but there's here, this is a really good news that you probably will meet this person or the people that would potentially, you know, be um, suited for you, that you will meet them this week. And then we have here, Tiferet Heart Beauty. So again, this has to do for many of you with love, love interests, looking for love. But here is also like, uh, if you're already in a relationship and maybe there are some themes, especially having to do with intimacy that have to be, you know, really uh, observed in the sense of, uh, you know, really you have to take a look into it because there may be some patterns that are not very healthy for you or some things are not working uh, properly. Uh, but here with this Tiferet, this uh, emanation is really telling you that uh, it's, this is a wonderful week to find balance, to find balance, to find harmony for making amends and uh, to build bridges for communication. And there's a lot of harmony. There's a lot of compassion. Again, the word here for pile number two that I'm getting more and more is compassion. Being compassionate towards yourself, being compassionate towards other people, and really finding that balance. And finding balance in love situations is also this give and take. Because if you're the one who's giving all the time and receiving very little in return, then it's probably time to look elsewhere, right? Because uh, there are other people who would love to be in your life. Wonderful, beautiful people, and you have no idea how wonderful they are yet, and they would love to be in your life. They're just waiting for you to look their way, right? And if you say, well, if they're so wonderful, then I would have seen them here already. The thing is, you cannot because of your patterns. Because our patterns can also, this like inner programming can also uh, have us just look to a certain potential, to a certain type of person, right? And, um, and many things happen without us even being conscious about it. You know, we just find out that's, that's who I am. But sometimes not really. You are a lot more than your behavior. And that's why here we also have the invitation to look, you know, at these themes in a different way and try a different perspective. But since we are in the area of love, let's see what are the energies for your love life this week. Although it has been all about love, you say, just have fun, just relax, have fun. You know, because the devil is also about obsession and we have here stalking, right? So just have fun, take things lightly, you know, take things lightly. And then we have just a phase. And whoops, oh, well, there's this one already flying. What lies in the dark? Yeah. What lies in the dark? A burning heart. That's what lies in the dark. It's your burning heart. So what I have here, pile number two, this is a, a bit deep, so I hope you're okay. I hope I don't trigger anyone. It's not nothing bad, but it goes a bit deep. It's like I'm getting the song. I'm getting a lot of songs for your pile. That's nice. Um, of uh, Bruce Springsteen, uh, everybody has a hungry heart. And that's what I have here. You have a burning heart full of passion. And maybe this week you'll be going out, you, you, you know, be drinking. But the thing is, drinking or not drinking, the, the problem is your burning heart combined with doubts and fears can get into an obsession or, you know, trigger your, all of your patterns. Um, yeah. into the unknown. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm getting, I'm trying to, yeah, waiting for a sign. You're waiting for someone. Again, 
Yeah, that's there's just for me sounds a bit like a, a kind of obsession, but I'm not judging in any way. I'll never throw stones. So it's like, but and I know the word obsession sounds a bit harsh, but there's something here, but it's just cars are saying this is just a phase, you know, just they're trying to tell you to relax, but there's a, like this obsession, this is programming, this pattern within you. Yeah, struck by lightning. And what they're saying is just go to the flow. It's really just relax. It can be that something triggers, triggers this passion, this obsession. Something will trigger it because you're still holding on to something here. But just go, go with the flow. Just relax. Just have fun. Remember, even if you're triggered, it's just a phase. Okay, then you'll find your footing again. I hope I'm making sense. You know, because I see you overcoming patterns. I see you overcoming uh, obsessive feelings. I see you uh, overcoming obsessive thoughts. I see you freeing yourself with the sun card. And I see you finding this balance over here. Because you'll realize that anything that has been, you know, too intense in your life and uh, guiding you into behaviors that uh, you're not so proud of probably, this is just a phase. This is not who you are, okay? This is what lies in the dark. You see the devil card. It's really the these patterns. And you have so much love to give. You're so hungry for love, but not hungry in a like a, a vampiristic way. You, you want to give love. That's the big difference. You don't want to take it. You want to give, shower people, shower someone special with love. But that person will come if... You turn this around, you know, if you look another way, if, if you change the pattern. But I see it happening. I see it happening this week. You're becoming more aware. Whew, that was deep. File number two. That was your message. I hope it resonates. I hope it inspires you. And I wish you a wonderful week full of love. Thank you. So if you chose pile number three, this is your reading. So let's put this over here. So pile number three, what are the energies surrounding you this week? First of all, we have the Queen of Vessels. This is the Queen of Cups. And this is the Salmon. Then we have the Ten of Vessels, Happiness. The Ten of Cups. Oh, wow. And then we have the Knight of Arrows and the Hawk. Oh, wow. Pile number three. This is amazing energy. Why? Because what I see here is healing. It's a lot of healing and love and joy. Sorry for that. So, sorry for that. So, what I see here is a lot of healing and joy and, uh, and love. Wow, so much love. But I see, so here with the salmon, and you see, just give me a second. Sorry for that. Um, sorry for that. They will try again, but I cannot do anything about it right now. So with the, with the, the salmon, the salmon, you know, goes, uh, swims against the current uh, in order to lay eggs, right? as you probably know. So goes against all odds in order to um, get to where it wants to be. And I see you have overcome a lot of obstacles. You may have found this last week's a bit challenging and even the last years for some of you, and you may be very tired. And this is also a bit similar to pile number one. How interesting. Um, so if you felt a bit, you know, attracted to pile number one, and if you'd like to check it out, you can, of course. But I see here, you see that this, this week you're healing. You're healing and in a very soft way. It's like the cards are telling you the hardship is over. The worst is behind you. You're healing. And there's also spiritual healing here. It's like it's not only just your body and your mind that's healing, it's also your soul. There's 
um, at the end of the week, you will feel stronger. You will feel more inspired. You will feel more energized because we also have the Knight of Arrows here, the Hawk. So this is the, the Knight of Wands. So it's a lot of energy, a lot of passion, you know, enthusiasm for life. And with the hawk, you really see into the future. You know what you want. And it's like, like an arrow. You're just pointing the arrow to what you want. And you, you know, putting all your energy into it. And you're being inspired by joy. You're being inspired by happiness, right? And... Uh, and the, again, we have here the waterfall. Waterfall is always a symbol for healing. It's not just water. It's the waterfall. It's a symbol of healing. And, uh, and you're getting a lot of spiritual healing. Pile number three, a lot of spiritual healing. And it's like you coming into your power. Because you've gone through really difficult weeks, like trials, Things that were testing your determination, testing your focus, testing your patience for many of you as well. And it's like you, you've done it. You, you've, you are achieving your goals and you've achieved, like you passed the test and now you're healing. It, you know, you passed the test. Now it's, you can rest. Some of you are actually even passing tests, really, like uh, exams, some kind of exam. And you're passing it. Some of you are really like just rejuvenating, regenerating in order to go after what you really want. Because you have to work really hard in order, for instance, to make enough money or to make enough, uh, enough time, enough space for working on something that brings you happiness. And you're going to do that now. Now you're just rejuvenating in order to do it. So there are wonderful news coming in as well. There are uh, things falling into place and your energy is being restored. Your heart is being restored as well. And for some of you, there's even a love, a new love interest coming in this week. And also, um, I would say a business opportunity, but something that's really creative, you know, will come your way or you're starting working in... Um, more intently in your uh, creative talents, developing your creative talents. Then we have empowering, number seven. And we have number two, feeling. So what we're getting here, again, this feeling is a really nice card because we got the cups card. Um, it's, all, it's all about feelings, it's very about emotions but also about intuition, mediumship, spirituality. Like I was saying, it's a lot of spiritual healing and also healing your emotional body. Because like I said, I, I believe you've gone through a difficult time. You know, it doesn't matter how long it was. It was just deep, something that took a lot of strength from you. And I think your emotional, emotional, emotional body is being restored and it's, you're getting empowered again. You know, you're empowering yourself again. And there's a lot of love. There's a lot of energy, positive energy coming your way this week. And the, there also was, because you see here, because it's this feeling and the card is so dark and she seems to be trapped. Actually, she gives me the feeling of the Eight of Swords, right? So... Maybe your feelings were trapped or you, you know, you couldn't get out of your skin or you couldn't express them. But with all this, I see you expressing them now, even in a creative way. And you're getting rid of all this that's um, keeping you tied up. You're empowering yourself. Again, there's a lot of healing, a lot of healing. And then we have the last card here, Sandalfon, Angel of New Life. You're starting a new life this week, pile number three. This is like a rebirth. Oh, there you have it, a rebirth. You leaving these old roots behind you and you are setting new roots. You're planting new seeds. You're starting a new life this week. 
Some of you may even get the news that you're pregnant. And maybe that's why your feelings have been all over the place as well, because of the hormonal hormonal change. <laughs> Can you say it that way? Yeah. Could be. And if you're pregnant, it's going to be a boy. Sorry for that if you don't want a boy, but mm, boy. And um, we're also even twins look here. But <laughs> getting back to the message. Um, now, this is a new start for you. And also here with the Knight of, um, of Arrows. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, no. The Knight of Arrows is not the Knight of Wands. I'm sorry, I always get them confused. It's the Knight of Swords. Yeah, so there are news coming in, definitely. Yeah, and so that's why I got this Swords energy. Interesting, yeah. So with the Knight of Swords, it's also, you know, moving forward, also being impulsive. It's a bit similar, you know, but it's charging your head. You're recharging your batteries and charging your head. And because it's swords, you're also probably cutting through all the things that have been holding you back. So it's actually almost the same message. It's you're charging your head and the hawk, of course, you know, you're charging into the future and leaving the past behind. You're healing, you're washing away the past, and you're charging towards the future because you're starting a new life with a lot of strength and a lot of determination. You're empowering yourself this week. So, but when it comes to love, what are the energies surrounding you this week? File number three. When it comes to love, what are the energies surrounding you this week? We have waiting for a sign. When it comes to love, what are the energies surrounding you this week? You have out of the blue. Ooh. And one more, please. And it flew away. Stuck in the past. Okay. Now, that's interesting. Strong foundation. Yeah. So, pile number three. This week, someone from your past is reaching out, out of the blue. <laughs> you can take literally. And it's something that you've probably been hoping and praying because you've been waiting for this sign. And, uh, and it's like it's a never-ending story. Yeah, they will be reaching out. Oh, yes. Yeah. And this because it's the devil, you know, that's the thing. But I, I see you reaching out, so getting out of this story. Let me get two more cards. I didn't do this for the others, so please don't tell them. Uh, but we need to hear some explanation because I see you. Aha. Uh -huh. So there is your jealousy and envy. Okay. What else? And outside influences. Yeah. So this is a situation for many of you that you're still stuck in a situation from the past. Yeah, and it's the devil, you know. So you're still stuck in the situation because, and there is something here struck by lightning. So in a situation from the past, that um, doesn't seem to move forward, not the way you'd like it, because there are outside influences and there's a lot of jealousy and complications. And the problem with, with this is like it romanticizes the situation. So like, oh, it's us against the world, uh, well, against all odds and so on. But I think like this will be the opportunity. This is what was going to strike you. And will be the opportunity to see the situation in a different way. And this is where a lot of healing is coming your way. So this can go in different ways. It can be different scenarios. One of them is um, there were a lot of difficulties and then this person comes back into your life and the situation will be healed and you can move forward, right? Or... Um, Someone from the past comes into your life and brings a lot of upheaval and brings a lot of um, themes from the past to the surface once again. And it's a time that you can use this experience to heal it and let go. 
there's just two possible scenarios, right? Yeah, this ship has passed, has sailed, and for others is will you. So it's really, for some of you, it's something that really, you know, you find closure for others. It's a new start. It's like, uh, you know, the, the relationship starts, has a new beginning, has a revival. So there are really here two possibilities that I'm getting. But uh, either way, this is uh, you transcending the past, either by letting it go or by reviving it in a more positive way, like a more positive incarnation of the situation, okay? So I hope this helps. I hope this inspires you. And I wish you a wonderful week full of love. Thank you.